Hey, what's going on, guys? Mike from Long Island Shaving. How's everyone doing this morning? Welcome to the Shave Den. I appreciate you guys tuning in today, and welcome to those of you that are new to the channel. Thank you for joining. Uh, please do consider subscribing if you enjoy the content. With that said, I have a shave of the day today from Pasture's Pharmacy, and it's a collab with Hags, and it is the Emperor. Uh, this was a collab that uh, Hags and Pasture's Pharmacy worked on together. This was recommended to me by Carlitos Shaves. Uh, him and I, Carlos and I met at the uh, meetup last year. Uh, really great guy. We exchanged some recommendations from time to time. And uh, he had suggested that I pick up the Emperor. And uh, Pastures is running a sale on this set right now. Uh, where you can get the soap, I believe it's $12.99 and the splash for $9.99. Um, and it's a really great scent. Um, for those of you that may not be familiar with it, this, this, just so you guys know also, is the first Hathor base that Hags has released when they worked on this collab together. Uh, so that's a new base that uh, Hags has recently introduced. Uh, this is considered um, an Oriental Fougere, just for those of you that know or don't know. Uh, it's a very woodsy, ambery type uh, scent profile with some smoky notes to it. That's what I pick up from it. Um, which is sweetened up a little bit with some of the boozy notes uh, that are in here, uh, which I'll get into in a second. Um, and this scent and this soap was inspired by Pasha de Cartier. It's a perfume by Cartier. Um, so that's the scent profile that this was inspired by. Uh, so I'll get into the scents breakdown and whatnot as we go through the shave. Um, I do, of course, have the matching splash to go with that. Of course, got to have the aftershave splash, right? Uh, I'll be shaving today with the Yaki Sentinel uh, 1.35 millimeter uh, blade gap. So there you guys you can zoom in a little bit on that. Um, and this is an extra handle that I had. So I'm going to be using the Yaki Sentinel. And I'm going to be using a King C Gillette blade, which to my understanding, from what I was told, the King, King C Gillette Blades are the Gillette Platinums. Could be wrong, but that's what, what's been told to me many of times. Um, and when I do compare them to the Gillette Platinums, they shave pretty much exactly the same. So I think that is accurate. Uh, I'm going to be using the Razor Rock T400 Synthetic Knot. And I already have the uh, lather whipped up in the Captain's Choice Obsidian Bowl. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into today's shave. And uh, here we go. It's Sunday afternoon, kind of a little late on the shave of the day today. I was going to do one actually live on Instagram today, but a few, you know, buddies of mine at work considering doing some uh, live shave couldn't make it. So uh, we'll set that up for another time. So had other things going on. So I figured, you know what, let me do a shave on my channel uh, of this uh, collab from Pastures Pharmacy and Hacks. So here we go. First pass in, just lather up. Now, this is the first time uh, using this um, this soap before. My initial impressions of just the smelling the soap off the puck, I was very uh, impressed by the scent. I did like it a lot. I do like the ambery woodsy notes that go along with this scent profile. And just to read off, so the green notes from this, uh, from what I read from the website, um, come from uh, balsam fir, and it's blended uh, together with creamy sandalwood. Uh, so that's basically uh, what's mixed in within the base. And the scent notes are uh, sandalwood uh, liquor, uh, balsam fir, benzoin, tonka bean, labdomen, Indonesian uh, patchouli leaf. So those are the uh, scent notes. And it's a definitely a very strong fragrance. So I agree with the intensity of being uh, like 75% off the puck. And this is different than uh, anything. I do have a lot of, I don't have any, any fougeres uh, in the den currently. So this is my first. Um, and I do happen to like it a lot. So it was a great recommendation by Carlos. So thank you, Carlos, for that.
Yeah, I've always been impressed by uh, any of the soaps I've received over the last year or so from Hags. Never had a problem with the base. They lather up really nicely. Nice creamy consistency. All right, so let's get ready. And this will be the first pass uh, with the grain. Also haven't used the uh, Yaki Sentinel in a while, so I figured uh, to break this out and shave with it today. Yeah, the 1.35 plate um, happens to shave really well. You get a nice, uh, close, efficient shave from this razor. And this does feel exactly like the Gillette Platinums because I do use them a lot. So someone had mentioned that to me, and I do agree with that, that the uh, King C Gillette Blades are indeed the Gillette Platinum. So I had a bunch of them. I want to use them up. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing well this Sunday afternoon. That's what I'm doing to shave. Kind of getting a late start on the day. Oh, and by the way, before I continue, um, thank you to Pastures Pharmacy. All of a sudden, I noticed I was having an order sent to me, and they had sent me um, a shave towel, uh, embroider, uh, custom embroidered uh, Pastures Pharmacy shave towel. Um, sorry, I am holding the wrong way. So uh, I received this in the mail yesterday. So thank you very much to Leon and his team for sending this out uh, to me. Uh, Free of charge, by the way. Thank you very much for that. I was really uh, surprised to see that uh, come yesterday. So I will use that today in today's shave. You can never have enough uh, shave towels, that's for sure. And it was definitely a nice surprise. And as usual, I'm just going to do a quick uh, two-pass shave on today. All right, very nice. So I agree with the uh, description. You definitely get some nice smoky amber uh, notes. You do pick up the sandalwood in this base. It's a very pleasing uh, scent for sure. Depending on how the splash is, I'm not sure if this would be one that you can wear to the office because if the intensity is sh even stronger on the splash, uh, maybe go a little bit on it. But uh, we'll see today. I have, I'm not going to the office today, so we'll see how that goes. Let me just rinse this off. Actually, I'm just going to do a second pass right over this. Yeah, so today is uh, Super Bowl Sunday. So, uh, kind of getting ready for that. I'm going for the Chiefs. I think they're going to end up pulling it off. It would be nice if the 49ers pulled it off. I'm kind of really not favoring one team over the other, but I do think the Chiefs will end up winning in the end but we'll see how it goes i gotta go pick up uh, some food for having some company over so uh yeah it should be fun let's really work this in today so as you can see it's very creamy very uh thick base thick lather I believe there's also some donkey milk in this, if I'm not mistaken. I think I did re I remember reading that in the description. But the intensity on this, uh, I agree, it's definitely up there. Pretty strong, but very pleasant. Nice cologne vibe. Just pass against the grain.
Yeah, so uh, <laughs> I know Brandon and I were joking around from Brandon Shaves. I had said, mentioned in my last video, I'm trying to be a little reserved in what I purchased this year. And uh, what am I doing? And that's not obviously working out too well. Because I already have about three sets coming to me that I couldn't hold back on. And, uh, you know, there are some sets that are being sent to me so, uh, from some artists. So thank you very much. Always do appreciate the support on the channel. But uh, so much for uh, keeping things a little reserved, right? But I enjoy bringing you guys the content. Giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on uh, a lot of the sets that many of you are considering picking up. So it's all good. I will try to be reserved, but there's no promises, obviously. But it's fun. Yeah, so uh, this razor is doing a really nice job today. Definitely very smooth and efficient from the Sen Yaki Sentinel. Doesn't feel aggressive. Nice blade feel. Efficiency on the blade gap, the 1.35 is uh, really good. Yep. What, so what do you guys think? I know you got a, a Parker recently uh, launched the, um, what are they called? The Solo, the single Solo Razor. I've been seeing a lot of posts on that recently. No question, seems very interesting. Just gonna rinse real quick. You know, kind of similar to the concept of the uh, leaf. For those of you guys who are familiar with the leaf, uh, thorn, and twig. Single solo. I think it's a Parker single solo, if I'm not mistaken. But a uh, very interesting concept. It uh, seems relatively the same size. Seen some reviews online. I think it'll be a nice, good beginner's razor. Probably a good one to travel with. Very reasonably priced. Not sure, maybe I'll uh, look to pick that up. And do a review on the channel. Yep, shaping it in. Keeping the beard going. I think I'm good. I think I'm just gonna do a quick rinse and then uh, we'll get going with that splash. All right, so what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna do a quick rinse, maybe just a quick cleanup so we don't have to waste too much time on this video and I'll be right back and we'll get right into uh, the splash. Be right back. All right guys, I'm back. I think that uh, Sentinel was a little, I think I got myself a little irritation on the neck. So uh, maybe a little too uh, efficient for me. <laughs> or I pressed too hard in that area. So I had to call on the medic at the uh, Allen block out. I think I'm okay now, but uh, yeah. But good shave all around. Really enjoyed that one. So thank you, Carlos, for the recommendation on that. Thank God this is uh, considered witch hazel because if it was alcohol, I think I may get some burn there. So uh, let's experience this splash for the first time. So I'm sure it's going to be much stronger. Got a nice 
nice generous amount there. All right, here we go. All right, no burn, thanks to the witch hazel. Oh, what a great scent. You still get those the smoky sandalwood, you know, the I don't get the fur much on the splash. It's more the smoky, still sandalwood, woodsy tone to it. But definitely a great scent. This would be one that I think uh, would be okay in the office as long as you don't go too heavy on the splash. But it is considered very strong. And now that I'm smelling it and I told Carlos this the same, it's very familiar. Um, listen, in my 20s, I was in an, it was the 90s. So I know back then, then this scent I think was very popular back then and it's to me, it smells very familiar. I have smelled this before. I just didn't know what the scent was inspired by, which is Pasha de Cartier. But uh, it is a great scent and one uh, that I think you guys would enjoy. So, uh, yeah, Emperor from uh, Hags, collaboration between Pastures and Hags. Um, definitely worth considering picking up. Uh, Pastures does have this on sale right now. Uh, again, I believe the soap is $12.99. The splash is $9.99 while they're still available. Uh, but this is a really great collab uh, by the two of them. And uh, I did really enjoy this. So uh, I appreciate the recommendation uh, on the scent. And glad I was able to share it with you guys. But definitely uh, worth considering picking up for sure. And the Yaki Sentinel did very well. Um, it's it's very efficient, and you just got to be really careful with it. Um, so I think I just got a little careless. I thought I was uh, doing okay up until the end. Um, and then I think I kind of got a little razor burn there. But other than that, it was a great shave. I appreciate you guys tuning in for today's video and review of uh, Emperor by Hags and Pastures Pharmacy. And thanks again, Hags, for the uh, shave towel. Very much appreciated. Uh, and thank you for that, uh, for sending that out uh, to me. With that, you guys have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll talk to you and see you guys soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.